in terms of auction trading, many people, I would imagine, would find that quite difficult. So you, you've, you've, you've gone from sort of your traditional buy-to-let properties, mm -hmm. auction trading, and then have you developed that any further? I mean, yes. what That's, else do you do? Yeah. So I've got pretty much four criteria right now, which I look at any property opportunity with. The first one is always, can I sell it for more than I'm going to pay for it in an auction room? So that's always your primary objective. That's all my, that, always my primary objective is, can I sell it for more in an auction room? Now, if the answer to that is no, I won't look any further in the other, any other opportunities that might exist with the property. Because I always have this thought process, well, what if I need to sell this quickly, for whatever reason? Am I going to make money on by doing that through the auction? Quick, selling it through auction is typically the quickest way to do it. So can I make money by doing that? And the answer has to be yes, otherwise I typically wouldn't look at any opportunity further. Um, however, um, the, the other criteria that I use are, is there any opportunity with the property to add value without doing any physical work? So what I mean by that is get planning permission. Uh, if it's a building that has been split into multiple units already but the leases haven't been created, can I do a title split? And any other opportunity to add value through paperwork. Um, if I get that planning permission or create those leases and then try and sell the property or the individual units but for whatever reason cannot sell them, is it worth my while taking advantage of the planning permission and doing the work, doing the extension, whatever the planning permission might be for, is it worth my while doing that and then selling the building at a profit, can I still sell it at a profit? And if I can, if I think then great, I'll, I'll look further into the opportunity. The final criteria that it has to me is if I do add value through physically doing any work to the property, but for whatever reason cannot sell it, can I refinance it, get back out all of the cash that I've put into the project so far, as a minimum all of the cash, um, and then keep it as a rental property and add it to my portfolio. Every opportunity I look at has to meet each, each, each four of my criteria. If it fails on one of them, then I wouldn't do it. Do you have a criteria in terms of with your, your buy to holds? Yeah. Uh, because that's not really what you're focusing on at the moment, but do you have a specific return on investments, gross yield, those sorts of figures mm. that a property has to fit? Or does it have to go through the process that you just described? Well, first of all, it has to go through the process I just described. Um, but I tend to look at things more on return on cash rather than talking about maybe the gross rental yield of a property. Um, and the first thing that I look at in terms of return on cash is can I double my money in 12 months? Now, sometimes the answer is no, but I'm pretty confident that I can grow at 50 to 75%. And if it's a higher value purchase, then that still might make it worthwhile. So, you know, for example, I, I did a, uh, a project in Croydon, which I had to pay 510,000 for the house. Um, it was always, I always knew that I could sell it for more at auction, but actually had the, the desire to develop it out. Um, and that's what I did do. However, I did get a very significantly higher offer via an auctioneer, not on the pre-auction, um, but it didn't the sale end up did not end up going through, even though I did actually accept the offer. But I'm quite pleased in hindsight that that didn't happen because the development was a great experience. So, what's your focus now then? My focus now is kind of more of the same. Um, you know, I'm always looking for development opportunities, auction trading opportunities. Um, I have I have done title splits. Um, there was a title split in Bristol which I originally had bought to create the separate leases and then sell on um, at, um, at a small discount to investors as going concerns with tenants in them. And from doing that, um, the net profit that I was forecasting on that was between 75 and 100K. Uh, as it turned out, um, primarily due to being distracted with other things, I've ended up being able to refinance that building. I got out all my cash plus 50K still own the four flats that are in the building and get a, a cash flow um, of about £700 a month across the four. So, plus I've still got about 125k of equity in the actual building. But that originally was bought to sell. 